Hello, beautiful souls. Thank you so much for coming back. I wanted to do a quick video. I'm outside and the energy has been really shifty and really intense. Um, there's been quite a lot of sadness that's being purged out within uh, me, within um, the collective, and it's an overall energy that is, I get it, necessary, but it is, I mean, when you are in that moment, it is quite annoying, right? <laughs> You'll be like, I thought I dealt with this, but I wanted just to give you a little update besides my little um, podcast videos. Um, personally, um, spiritually, and where, where I am within this journey. I want to, um, at this time of this video, um, there is a lot of school shootings that are happening. And um, they always get me choked up because um, I see this happening a little bit more uh, before it stops, before uh, we find a solution to this. It is, uh, it needs our attention. Um, why does it need our attention? Because one for all, my big theory is the children is our future. Um, you know, the, 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 uh, the darkness of um, corruption really lies um, on the children. And as we grow up, that's where we get damage control. So everything that's being done to what we think is us is, has been done to us at childhood. And so we are... Uh, we are definitely being um, given like a, an alert, <laughs> a, a, a way to um, pay attention. It's screaming at us that um, to understand and to really grasp the idea that the children are our future and why they are our future because we are our future, right? But no, and that's the ego talking. But really the children is our future. They do carry the energy of what's going to lie within how our society is going to be built, how our community is going to be built, how civilization will be. So I, um, as you corrupt the ch children's to grow up as they are, that's the society we will live in. And therefore, um, they are our future, if that's simple in simpler terms. Um, I do give out um, my prayers and my love and um, so much um, honor and to those people that are taking one for the team within the collective, within the society, within the civilization, within this generation, within this century, within this age and time of our evolution, who has to, um, these souls that um, has to reach extreme suffering and extreme heartache and extreme loss and extreme shame and disgust and all the, all the darkness just are getting desperate to like eat our lights up and, um, they transmute it in a way, and they take one for the team for us to, for, um, for us to awaken, for us to get a glimpse of a, a, a break through that wall that we've uh, imaginatively created in our little bubble, you know, uh, to be able to uh, open up an avenue of new perspective and a new way and a new need and you want and you desires you know where we can go outside of the desire of what we're told we could desire and I mean and go outside those possibilities of um, what society has been known you know uh, we you know it's like saying um, can we can we make what we know is color blue now and call it pink in the future. That's about the change we're about to make. You know, can I tell you that one plus one equals three? Yeah. You know, who told me one plus one was two? That was created. That was, you know, that was told. And those were the, you know, certain ways that we were taught. And those are a sense of, uh, could be perceived definitely is also could be is, uh, limitations and now we're having to ask beyond because you know our children's are getting hurt and it tugs on um, what we existence what we already have within us is the parent tugging you know the mama bear the protecting your children you know if this unfortunately and it makes me super sad that the children has to take it for the team so that us adults can get our ass together and really pull our head out of our ass and I, I commend these children uh, it, it's rather quite drastic and extreme and I need 
those children's souls to calm down when it comes to and i do hope that we all get the lesson now and we are really seeing this this is happening this has to be done it's not a uh, temper tantrum it's it's getting bigger it's it's uh it's it has to be fixed from the children you know uh, they want to hurt the children we got to fix these children and as far as uh, uh really uh protecting them we're gonna have to go outside of the box and beyond our ego and to really um seeing what is best in the meantime as we transition to protect these children within what we have for the moment for them and of course as we evolve and um, further evolve to the word the why greatest ideal of evolution for this is these no one will ever want to shoot any school you know it will be a free will where they don't want to it's not even going to be an option it's not going to be a thing that's going to be triggered anymore how can we make that all go away how can we make the first um, alchemy of trigger that created such violence towards children such innocent children such uh you know it's 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 like find your own size kind of you know how can we untangle the alchemy you know reverse engineer people how can we untangle that alchemy and really break down what needs to be redone to alchemize a better alchemy of it does that make sense so i it's it's heavy it's been heavy on me and i've been emotional and i you know partly is because i thought of my own issues but really it's been it's been nugging at me the kids the children and i worry about my children going to school and I, you know there's still 3d things that exist that you know that are not within my control and not within anybody's control pretty much at the moment and it has um, so i it pulls on the mommy bear on the daddy bear on the parenting love and I hope that it really pulls hard now I mean we shouldn't have to wait for a couple more to happen to really get our heads out of our ass and stop fighting and pointing fingers and just everybody pitch in what they can pitch in to make it better to make a better situation instead of worrying how much this one's got to pitch in because he whatever that costs put in more fuck fucking part of the recipe you know why does that even matter at this point it's not a matter of like you put too much salt you put too much pepper it's not even that it's all about okay well how do we get this to taste better you know do we add more salt let me see what i could do i have all the salt i can give so let me know how much i need you need you know it's all about really just pitching in to what can be better instead of what looking back because that's all ego you know there's an ego to the idea that your contribution will be limited you know like i always said if you can make a difference make a difference do it you know i'm hoping to do mine a little bit on this you know on my different sources and medias of hoping to make a difference with the world but it's a serious thing and i mean it's happening it's happening and um and i think the better of the idea we have is the you know the greater the idea uranus is in town i mean he's about to bust out some crazy changes and he does he's been doing it all my life i'm a re uranian child so he does flips and changes and like drastic changes and he's done it all my life and i've learned to get used to it you know that's how you adapt and that's how you bend and you have to be flexible is because he's flipping us around but unfortunately right now we are not that flexible so the goal is to really be flexible and go outside of our box and really go for the possibility go for the fairy tale of how this life could be why not because uranus can just give it to us you know uh, this whole money issue too thing you know it's uh i definitely have to sit down and really ponder that because i try not to i'm sure i've got my own dealings with money still so maybe i'm not quite there to quite ponder that idea but i do have a a, a thing about these children and how as a collective and humanity uh you know it starts at home especially um be kind to your children of course uh you know uh it really does start at home 
and because I mean the sense of responsibility with great power comes great responsibility but the idea of it starting at home it's really true you know there is great sense of responsibility of how we treat each other and um, and all that stuff so my prayers and love to all those beautiful souls and that are having to be so closely affected by all these evolutions and um, triggers and alchemy that has to be created in order for us to create world peace right so but as far as i'm doing okay i i have uh i've come to um, get a better green and center of my abilities and it's amazing how the universe has taken me to where i am right now uh, this year has been quite a journey and I know you have all seen it and I appreciate you taking part of my journey as weird and crazy as it was and I'm truly grateful for all those that has helped me through this whole evolution of mine and I only could hope that I could make a difference and help change the world and uh, you know I do it through my podcast here and um, I have quite more up my sleeve I think I'm getting a better gauge of my abilities and um, how I'm able to relate and teach it and um, pass on the wisdom because I never just want to pass on something I want to I know I, I have a thing about I need to pass on a wisdom, you know, then it comes more from the heart. It's not a very technical thing. It's 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 coming deep, you know, and I, I truly adore those. You know, I've I right now my as far as where I'm at is I am helping my friend, you know, set up her she's uh, she's got this really amazing passion. It's called Passionate Wings that already check it out because it's a website I am working on and as you guys know, I love doing websites. So uh I'm doing that and I'm helping her out it's only because I truly believe on what she's doing and I'm really uh, I, I get fascinated by people's how they evolve and make a difference you know I I and it's also gets a community going to changing the world and stopping sexual abuse domestic abuse or any kind of abuse where abuse won't even exist so maybe abuse has to stop existing so that these kids that are wanting to abuse children and you know innocent children that can't fight them back you know there's a psyche that is related to that you know and so it goes all around there's many angles to to approach it in order for it to fully evolve it's like every single one's gonna hold their part of that circle and roll it you know so I, ho I do hope that everybody is more like, what can I do to contribute and really um, not worry about um, what or who caused the problem or blah, blah, blah. And really um, looking back as that as a lesson or, okay, so this person caused the problem is the mentality, the psyche, the intention, the motivation. This is the alchemy that creates this reaction. So how can we better fix it and how can we move forward and how can we, you know, uh, re kind of almost like trick the energy out you know <laughs> and as a collective i do know we can do this and i think we're slowly gaining our own um control of our own energy so that we'll, as a collective we might we not might we will have better control of our manifestation of how this world should be uh, within society civilization um community rules regulations you know and all that fun stuff and I have some really good ideas about that that's coming out soon so stay tuned uh, but I just wanted to give you a little update and I can you see I'm smiling I don't look so freaked out and I'm so glad because I have uh, you know went through the dark night of the soul and definitely uh, a hardcore training of my seer abilities so I love you guys thank you so much for watching and staying with me subscribe if you have not and um, and I'm also on iTunes or any podcast apps that you have. Just search for me, Racing Common Sense. It's If you want to be on there, I would love to have you on there. If you want to be on my thing, we could discuss and talk. We can definitely do it. I'm, I'm down. Um, we, we, we want to enlighten one person at a time, right? And you never know who that person gets enlightened and that person changes the world. And it only takes that one nudge to let them see their greatest potential and what they are capable for capable of so 
Namaste, beautiful souls. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys.